What is up everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, we're gonna be asking Texas A&M engineering students some riddles, random questions, and just lots of buffoonery questions. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Please subscribe if you're new, like the video, comment down below your favorite part, and let's get into it. Okay, so start off with your name, major, and class. Uh, my name is Josh. I am an engineering major, still general, yeah. and I'm class 26. Kaden, uh, what's your major in class? I'm civil engineering sophomore. Addo. Sarah. Jackson. All right, my name is Zoe. I'm a sophomore and my major is computing. I'm Millen. I'm also a sophomore and I'm in computer engineering. My name is Adam. I'm a junior and I'm in computer engineering. Nathan, I'm a junior and I'm electrical engineer. Okay. Um, Olivia, engineering and 2026. 20, Allison and Sam. Oh, sorry. Engineering and 26. My name is Alex. I'm a computer engineer and I'm class of 2025. Um, I'm Sydney. I'm a general engineer, and I'm class of 2026. Okay, we're gonna start off with your name, major, and class. I'm Kate, uh, industrial engineering, um, class of 25. Okay. Um, my name's Michael. I'm a freshman, so I'm just in like basic engineering for right okay. now. Uh, Caleb, uh, construction science, class 26. Uh, Landon, engineering, class of 26. Don't know yet. Okay. So the first question we have is. What do you think the easiest and hardest engineering major is? Easiest? I feel like it might be mechanical and the hardest, uh, biomedical. Okay. Easiest? I don't know. I guess ID just because they get associated with business a lot. Yeah. I'm going to say comp sci is the hardest. Comp sci. Yeah. All right. I think the easiest engineering major is civil and the hardest is probably uh, computer engineering. Mm. Uh, easiest, it's not a knock on them, but I'll say industrial distribution. Um, cause you know, it's, it's, it's business, which is, I mean, the classes are easier. Um, and then hardest, I'd probably have to go either like computer engineering or nuclear. Okay. So hardest major, I'm going to start there. Chemical because fuck O-chem and a fuck O-chem too. Right. Shit, I didn't think that. Easiest one by far is ID because those are just business majors who want an engineering degree. The easiest is definitely civil, no doubt, and the hardest is electrical. Okay. Um, easiest, maybe like material science. Okay. Maybe hardest, um, probably chemistry. Chemistry engineering? Mm -hmm. Or chemical, yeah. Okay. Um, I think they're all hard. <laughs> Bro, I might just turn off my computer after hearing that, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Just... But... Uh, maybe, I don't know easiest, but I think hardest would be... Yeah, probably chemical. I agree. But I don't think I could pick easiest. Okay. Ooh, um, based on watching him, probably computer engineering hardest. Um, and easiest... Uh, maybe like, <laughs> like, like, mm, you probably don't know much. Yeah, I don't know. Much. You really don't say. Probably like communications, maybe. I don't know. Communications engineering. We're talking about no, engineering. No, no, engineering. Specifically engineering. Easiest engineering. I'll say. I'm just gonna say ID because I have friends in there. But the hardest, definitely mine. Computer engineering. Okay. Just computer science easier. Yes, it is. Okay. Easiest is probably, probably what I'm doing. Yeah, industrial. industrial. Um, hardest, chemical, I think. Okay. Uh, hardest, I would go computer science. And easiest, I would go agricultural and like bio biological engineering. Probably. Okay. Yeah, easiest is civil, and I'm gonna say hardest. I'm gonna say electrical. I heard a lot of hard stuff about electrical. Okay. Easiest has to be like industrial distribution or something, and then hardest, like chemical. Okay. One up there. Okay. Next question is Do you think it is essential to shower daily? And what's the longest you've gotten without showering? Uh, yeah, you do need to sh shower daily, especially as an engineer. Let these guys kind of smell. <laughs> and I think the longest I've ever gone is like three days. Three days. Okay. Um, maybe not daily. It really depends on what you do. I would say no more than 48 hours. Okay. If you're going more than 48, bro, like, so what's there's the, something wrong what's with the you. Longest like, people can smell you. What's the longest you've gone? Mm, probably no more than 48, unless I'm like 
on a camping trip or something and don't have access to water. Okay. Bro, if like, I would say on average, I'm probably going like 24 hours. I shower almost every single day. Okay. Yes, it's essential to shower daily or at least, at least often. As long as I go without showering, five days on a camping trip. I would say it is essential to shower once per day at least and then probably like five days when I was on the trip. Okay. No, I... <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> Don't cap. She Why she lied? She's goofy, bro. I just said something. Like, 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 no, she knows she beat her. Okay, right okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so, yes, you need to shower daily. You don't need to wash your hair daily. But the longest I went without showering, I think, was actually like two days, like a day. Okay. Uh, yes, I would say the same thing as her. Like, you definitely need to shower every day, but like not wash your hair because it's not healthy mm -hmm. for the oils. But uh, um, the longest I've been probably like three days. Three days. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the longest I've gone without showering is probably like two or three days a couple of years ago over summer. I think I was playing 2K for a while. You on the 2K grind? Yeah. I mean, for the most part, yes. Like. I guess, you know, if you're sitting at home all day doing literally nothing, then one day might be fine. But if you really, I mean, you should know when you reek. I mean, I'd say my worst, maybe three days at some point. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to say you should shower every day. And if you don't, that's kind of disgusting. However, uh, the longest I've gone is 10 days because I was backpacking in Colorado. So. Um, I don't endorse showers. I think our body cleans itself. And if you are a naturally good person, you don't gotta shower. Nah. So what's the longest? Longest? I mean, no. fucking right now? No clue. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't keep track. Um, I think if you do anything, then yeah. But if you don't do anything, like lay in bed all day, then what does it matter? So probably, for me, for two days. Okay. Okay, that's valid. It's a thousand, uh, it's essential to shower daily. Um, it's, I know it's a controversial opinion here. Um, oh shoot, longest I've ever gone without showering. It's probably like, probably like a few days, honestly. I try to, I try to shower every day. A few days? A few days, try shower every day. Okay. Uh, don't shower daily, get musty. <laughs> Bitches love it. <laughs> What's the longest you've gone? Uh, it was at his house. I would hop in the pool. I don't know. It was like a week. A week? Yeah. That's a decent amount. Uh, I'd say it's like good to shower probably every day. Like every other day at least. Yeah. And then the uh, longest I've gone is cat. like five or six days. Five or six days? Yeah, that was a rough time. <laughs> okay. Next question. Eggs are 12 cents a dozen. How many eggs can you get for a dollar? 12 cents a dozen. cents a dozen how many eggs can you get a dollar yeah. times like these I need my multiplication tables well cents for a dozen how many can I get for a dollar a hundred yeah you got it <laughs> oh yeah that's 12 cents <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know that's you can go. That's what about you Definitely a dozen. You can get a dozen. You can also get one. At least. Eggs are 12 cents a dozen. Mm -hmm. How many can you get for a dollar? Well, um, just all depends on if, you know. That's the wrong answer. 12 cents More a dozen. Than What's a dozen? 12. 12 cents. So a dollar an egg or a cent an egg. Eggs are 12 cents. So you can get what's one hundred divided by twelve. So five dozen. So five times twelve is sixteen. That's not. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Are we close? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, one dollar is one hundred cents. Twelve cents for one dozen. So divided by twelve. One hundred divided by twelve is point one. 100 divided by 12? <laughs> 12 times 8 is 96, right? Is that right? 12 times 8 is 96, I don't know the answer. I know, so... 8 dozen is like, it's like 8. 
Okay, no. A dozen. Want to hear the question again? Yes. <laughs> eggs are twelve cents a dozen. How 12. many eggs can you get for a dollar? Twelve cents a dozen. So twelve cents for. Okay. So twelve. A hundred. Yes. <laughs> twelve cents a dozen. Uh, twelve times. How many eggs can I get? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 120. I don't know. 20, I mean, 12 times. Don't, don't look know. at me. Okay, so it's. Y'all are engineers. You'll have to get 96. I'm not engineer. You'll have to get 96. I'm not, that's engineering. Right? I'm co-sign. Oh, you're that's not, that's you'll have to get 96. And so 12 times what is 96? Hold up. Uh, Hold up the calculator. <laughs> if it's. The question is, eggs are 12 cents a dozen. How many eggs can you get for a dollar? Yeah. How many eggs can we get for a dollar? So you have to give me this. <laughs> yeah. One divided by... You could get 100 eggs. <laughs> you have to use a calculator for that? Yeah. What the hell? I just realized how simple it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really essential. This is a TikTok. We're in a TikTok, please. We're in a TikTok. Oh, you guys want to join <laughs> us? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>